hello everyone this is hassan and today's video i will step by step share how we can track hubspot form hubspot form is the one of the popular form for collecting lead and all others information from website today's video i will show how we can track hubspot form using google tag manager as well as how we can collect the user inputs information at first you need to come this uh, repository in the video description i will share the link of this code then you need you just here is a short description how you should use this code but now i am showing step by step using this video at first you need to go have export data layers.js file in this file you will get this code you just need to click this icon to copy the code as well as you can easily mark all of the code and copy this way also then you need to go to your google tag manager the tag manager which is connected with your website where the your form is available this is my demo hub spot form this form is uh, under my demo website and this google tag manager is connected with this website from this website we need to create a tag for inserting this code in my website even so we need to come the google tag manager and this is the tag step from the tag we need to click new button and from the new uh, we need to give a name we can give any name for example have a spot form data layer this yes. the name is totally up to you how you would like to give this title and then from the tech configuration we need to select custom html and because we are going to paste the javascript code so we need to write a script tag here as well as we need to end the script tag this is actually html javascript tag if you hover over you will get this same instruction here be sure to wrap javascript snippet with script and script tag so i have wrote this tag and inside the both of the tag we need to paste uh, the code which i have copied this is the code and of course we need to select a triggering if i click here we will get uh, the default triggering it is perfectly fine to select all pages and then save it now if i go to preview mode of my website i am just directly going to the page where the form is available and this is the hub spot form and this is google tag manager tag assistant it is connected with my website and if i fill the information of this website and submit the form the form has been submitted and if i can come back to the preview mode you see that there is a data layer event hub spot form submit event as well as if i go to uh, the api call clicking here you see that we are getting the form id conversion id as well as we also getting others information like ss context we don't need this big information but we also getting the email as well as first name last name phone number which i have seen through this uh, form and if i go to data layer tab we also get the same information so using this code we are getting data layer even now if you are familiar with google tag manager you know that next step what you need to do to send this information to google analytics but the next part of the video i am going to show how we can create a custom event and send this information to our google analytics for as well as you can use this information for any other platform like facebook pixel or others uh, tracking platform 
so getting this information in google analytics 4 we need to create a couple of things say that we like to collect the form id as well as the first name i am just collecting the first name for demonstration purpose your real cases you may need to collect other information depending on your form i am just showing you showing here how we can collect the form id as well as the first name of the uh, customer so at first we need to create two variables i am going back to google tag manager from the google tag manager i am going to variables tab inside the variable tabs there is only user defined variable available this is the measurement id and now i am clicking new to create new variable uh, it is data layer variable form id and we need to select data layer variable here and this is the key actually if i if we come back to the data layer tab actually we are getting the information as javascript object inside the object uh, we need to collect the key this is the value of the form id and this is the object key we need to copy the object key and for variable form id and we need to paste it here and save it we also like to collect another information from the form that is first name so i am just again taking another data layer variable first name the name is totally up to you you can give any name as which is aligned with your business or aligned with your use case and then i am going to the configuration again of course it is data layer variable and if you look here you see that this is the primary object and the first name is one level down of the primary object so the first name is inside another object so at first we need to collect the inputs so that we can enter the inputs object from here and then we need to add a dot and then finally we need to uh, collect or copy the exact name of the key for the first name this is the first name key i'm just copying and paste it here and now we need to save it so we have created two variable one is for first name and another another one for form id and then of course we also need to create a trigger the trigger will trigger our event and help us to send the information to google analytics so i am going to trigger step from the trigger step we need to create a new trigger by clicking new it is custom event you can give custom event or data layer event the name is totally up to you and the event name is sales for form submit sorry it is the event name we can collect from here hub is for form submit we need to we just need to copy the hub is for form submit event name and the title is you can give submit or if in your website there are multiple form you can give any name which is uh, aligned with your use case i'm just giving this name and tag configuration uh, we trigger configuration we need to choose custom event and our event name is this one i have export from submit this is exactly the same thing i have copied from here and we need to save it before saving the thing you see that there is a, another option this trigger fire on all custom event or some custom event if there are multiple forms in your website multiple hub is put from in your website then you also need to specify which form id for this form to do that you need to come here and select form id as well as uh, we need to collect the exact form id from here 
and select is equal to this one but my case is there is only one form available so i don't need to use this but it is also good practice if you like you can keep this away i'm just going back to all custom event because there is only one hard spot form running in my website and then save it so we have successfully created our triggers and two required variables and then we need to go to tag step and we need to create the real tag which is uh send information in our google analytics from the tags i am clicking new and then i am giving just name ga4 because we are going to send this information in our google analytics and ga4 then we can give lead form submit or the form which is responsible for your work you can give any kind of name which is uh, meaningful for your use case and then tag configuration from the tag configuration we need to choose google analytics for and from here we need to choose google analytics ga4 event and now we also need to select our measurement id you will find the measurement id from your google analytics i have just collected it and save it as a constant variable this is the constant GA4 measurement ID. And the event name, the name which you like to get for Google Analytics. The name, what I will put here, the event will show as this way. I'm just giving the name lead form submit. And then event parameter. We like to send two event parameter. One is form ID. And and one is first name or customer first name it is totally up to you with more information you need to collect from the form i am for demonstration purpose i am taking only to custom parameter event parameter and now of course we need to select triggering by clicking here we have already created our trigger this is this one and then we need to save it so we are done everything now it is time to test the thing again i am going to preview mode it is connected with my website now if i select the form again and submit the form the form has been submitted and if i come back to my google tag assistant you see that the data layer event has fired as well as the tag which we have created ga4 lead form submit also successfully triggered and if we check uh, by clicking gtag we see that the lead form submit event also sent to our google analytics as well as it also send this information with the event uh, for further inspection we can go to google analytics from the google analytics if we go to admin section from the section we need to go to debug view from the debug view if i check here Uh, some reason the debug view is not showing for me it is it might be the google analytics bug or anything updating sometime i saw this type of thing this has happened for many cases i'm uh, if we reload the page and see the thing again actually it is not actually our fault actually we deleted a tag which is required uh, you know that there is no tag for tag.
now uh, i see we have already the config tag it is perfectly fine some reason the debug view is not working for me maybe something wrong with google analytics site but you see that the information is perfectly sending to google uh, analytics so this is all for this video and if you are professional you can easily do the thing but if you are newcomer then you also able to follow this step to do the thing hope this video will help you for perfectly tracking your uh, form have is perform and if you like the video you can hit the like button of the video and as well as you can subscribe my channel for getting this kind of video more quickly thank you very much for watching this video